going to try to just step back here because we have 17 high school graduates to recognize this morning. Some of our extremely faithful youth leaders are supporting them. I, listen, this is always such a special occasion for us uh, as a church, our student ministry. I mean, what a blessing it is to you know, have a group of young people who have accomplished such a, a big accomplishment. And, and just, I mean, to be able to call attention to it, support them and recognize them and, you know, what they're, you know, going to go and seek to do in the future. Man, what a, what a blessing it is to do that. So I don't want to spend any time or, or waste any time of yours. So I want to get right to the recognition. What we're going to do is we're going to call them out one at a time and just kind of give you the information that was given to us by their uh, parents, uh, which, I mean, it's such a broad range. I love, I love just, you know, calling th this special attention to these students. So we'll start with Miss Ella Ashlyn Simons. Give it up for Ella. You may recognize Ella from her uh, years of dedicated service on our praise teams. She's graduating from homeschool and classical conversations. She was a participant in Voices of Carolina Choir, serves uh, as the student council president. She works at Schlotsky's Deli. Congratulations, Kyle. <laughs> Next, we have Miss Cecily Faith Jackson. <laughs> we lovingly know her as CC. She is graduating from Forestview High School. CC is a dedicated server in the preschool ministry here at the Heights, and she is loved by everyone back there, especially the youngsters. We're thankful for that. She is planning to attend Gaston College in the fall and further her education with the hopes of working in a local hospital in the future. Congratulations, CC. <laughs> Next, we have raised an incredible opportunity for us as a church to show our support and our love for these students. Now, all of them in some way have seen this and experienced this over the years, but one thing I can say to you, church, is that because of your love and your support, maybe through financial giving, maybe through prayers, or just simply being a part of this body of believers, you are a part of these lives. You have had a, a, a part that you played an influence on shaping these young people. Because what we desire as a youth ministry is not to raise these kids, not to raise these students, but to partner with the families that trust us enough on Sundays and Wednesdays and going to camps and being a part of mission projects and special events to pour into the lives of these young people. We have all had a part in that. And what a, what a blessed opportunity it is for us to be able to not just recognize, but celebrate the lives that are before us right now. I pray that this continues years and years into the future, that we have 17 and 18 and 30 graduates that we get to call out here and say, what a great job you have done. But don't let it stop there. Because our prayers need to continue and our support of these students definitely need to continue with their families. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a prayer of blessing over them. And then as they exit the stage, I'm going to ask that you just raise the roof, celebrating and shouting for these students. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to just be alive this morning. Thank you so much that you have allowed us to wake up. And to be able to come into your house this morning, Father, to worship you and to take just a few minutes to, to place a, a special spotlight on these students. God, what a blessing it has been for years, for years, to be able to pour into their lives spiritually and to see this day uh, before us now where they are being called high school graduates. I pray, Father, that you would just bless them today in the days to come and the years to come, that they would always keep their eyes fixed on you and never, Lord, never allow the world 
to influence them greater than what you would you would want uh, uh, your word and your church and, and your body to influence them. God, would you help us as a church to continue to pour out love and support on them? God, I thank you most of all for your love and for your son that you gave to each of us. May we always live every day seeking to please you and to live a life that's worthy of being called a Jesus follower to this world. I pray that you would bless these students now as they go and, and move into the next phase of life. We love you, Lord. Pray that you be blessed by the rest of this service. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all give it up for me.